These old Christmas ornaments are just not my style, so I decided to give them a makeover. By removing the tops and popping in a skewer, I have a way to stand them up. I want to create some texture, add in some baking soda while I'm painting them. Now that the paint's dry, I want to add a powder coating to the smooth ones. I'm going to use some clear glue and then roll the ornament in the baking soda. For the ornaments that I added the texture to, I want to do the same process, but this time I'm going to use cocoa powder to dust them. The final thing I want to do is add a little bit of metallic bronze paint. While the ornaments are drying, I want to change up the little caps that go on the top. I couldn't be happier with how pretty these ornaments are now. They feel like they're old and worn and perfectly vintage. Baking soda and Christmas decor? You bet. First, remove the caps from the tops of the ornament balls. Mix together equal parts flour and our magic ingredient, baking soda. Next, we're going to spray paint the ornaments. After you spray paint the ornament, drench it in the flour and baking soda mixture. I advise doing this one ornament at a time and wear some gloves. It can get a little messy. After painting and dunking, let the ornaments dry. Put the cap back on the ornament. Using a small paintbrush, gently brush off the excess flower mixture. For a simple holiday display, place multiple flocked ornaments in a bowl surrounded by greenery. Or tie a simple ribbon or string through the ornament cap and hang on your Christmas tree. I'm going to be using some clear glass round ornaments. So I'm going to remove all the tops of the glass ornaments. I'm going to take a measuring cup and I'm going to pour a generous amount of the Mod Podge and I'm going to add a little bit of the brown fabric dye. I'm going to give it a stir. Once mixed, I'm going to use the measuring cup to pour the liquid into my glass ornament. And I'm going to swirl it around, making sure that the mixture covers the entire glass ornament. I want all the Mod Podge liquid to pour out the bottom. To make a darker color, I'm going to add some of this food coloring and give that a good stir. Once fully mixed, I'm going to make up some more ornaments in this darker brown shade. I'm going to leave these to set and drip for about five minutes. And I'm going to pound the glass ornament carefully to get out more of the mixture. And then I'm going to set them in a muffin tray. I'm going to preheat my oven to 250. And then I'm going to place the ornaments in the oven while it's still cool, allowing the glass to heat up with the oven. While my ornaments are baking, I'm going to take some styrofoam and I'm going to place the tops of the ornaments in there so they're easy to spray paint with this black matte spray paint. I'm going to make sure I check on my glass ornaments in the oven just to make sure that they don't get too hot. So I check them a few times before they're done. Once my tops are dry, I'm going to lightly brush over the black spray paint. Once my ornaments are done in the oven, I can remove them carefully. They were in the oven for about 30 minutes and these are the finished ornaments when I replace the tops. I've set them here in my kitchen in a little wooden dough bowl. I love the dark moody vibe that they provide and they look great amongst my Christmas decor. We need to go ahead and remove the top off of the ornament. You just want a little bit of water. We're gonna add quite a bit of paint and we're gonna mix it. Move it around so it coats the entire inside of the ornament. Once we kind of get it going, we're gonna turn it upside down on to the cup and let it dry. And when it dries, you're going to end up with a um, navy ball or whatever color you choose just like this. We're going to put the topper back on. We're gonna use the Mod Podge. Once you have the Mod Podge on, it is time to start with the leafings. Set this one aside, I'm gonna let it dry. So we're gonna use this gentle paintbrush and we're gonna go through and we're just gonna gently tap and brush the leafing. Look how fun, they're just beautiful. Are you bored with bringing out the same old ornaments year after year? All I'm going to do is use a white Posca pen and this is a gold Sharpie. I'll go all the way around. Next up is this little parcel and leave that to dry. So I'm going to highlight the ribbon. Okay, when that had dried, I used my white Posca pen. Now I'm going to do something with this kind of pine cone shaped one. Just as simple as that. And the last one I'm going to show you is this golden one. I'm going to do every other one. I'm going to leave some of the gold on here. I used the white pen again and just did a running line down the center. And here are some more. I'm not going to show you how I did all these, but I think you get the hang of it now. I'm so excited to show you these ornaments. 
Every single one of them is different. Just look how interesting and exciting they look now. First one I'm using is a glass bauble and I'm taking some white acrylic craft paint and I'm going to start pouring it inside. Whiz it around like that until the whole thing is coated. I'm going to use permanent markers. I have got these, these are plastic and they click together like that. They're easy to open. I'm just going to squirt some paint in both sides and then using the shaking method, going to combine the paints. Okay, so that is now completely covered in paint. I'm using a polystyrene ball that I have cut in half. Then I sanded the top. I had this picture of my children when they were little on Christmas morning. I took a photocopy of it on card and then over the top I've used some contact paper, some clear contact paper. I have got a Christmas napkin. And I'm going to take just the top layer, I've got some tiny bits here, and simply put some glue on the polystyrene ball and then lay the napkin on top. So this has been completely covered now and I've also gone over it with one coat of glue as well just to seal it in. And putting some glue on the polystyrene, I'm also going to put some on the back of this card as well and then press it in place. So I leave that to dry also stuck around the edge these little sticky half pearls in gold and then taking some ribbon push the cord in the end of the scissors put some glue on it to glue it in place and here the baubles all hung now on the tree i'm really happy with how these turned out they're all very personal and made for a fraction of the cost so I'm going to place this in front of me in a plastic cup and I'm opening up a bottle of polycrylic. Place this polycrylic inside of the ornament and now I'm just going to rotate my ornament slowly, letting that fluid cover the entire ornament. Now I'm just going to give this a light tap. I'm just going to use a little funnel, add about two tablespoons of glitter to my ornament. Tilting a little bit and turning slowly, I want to make sure that every bit of this glass is going to be coated with glitter. But you also want to make sure you're getting rid of any excess glitter. You don't want to have globs. Roll your clay into a ball and then you want to roll it back and forth between your hands and you want to make the tip just a little bit smaller than the rest. Exact same thing with my white. And at this point, I am going to press these two ends together and twist. Make sure you have a nice point at the top. So this is what my unicorn horn looks like once it's finished. At this point, you want to go ahead and bake this in the oven. Put some hot glue on the bottom of this. I'm just going to stick this onto my ornament. This is a paper flower tool. Slide your paper in and it just holds your paper in place so that you can roll it into a flower. Put a little glob of hot glue and then I'm going to gently release this and put my flower in place. And I'm going to put my darker flower in the center. And I have cut out a slightly smaller ear out of glitter paper. Now I'm going to bend this ever so slightly and then I'm going to attach it right here behind my flower. So I'm just aligning it up, make sure that it's centered. You can make these out of any color, whatever you wanna do with these, that's the fun part is you can really customize them completely.